Hi guys, welcome to Tag Trick Tutorial. Today we're going to talk about editing your own image on Leonardo AI. Tutorial for beginners. Leonardo AI Image Prompt. It's a step-by-step -step guide to follow easily, so don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. Let's dive right in. Now in today's video, we will be demonstrating this feature of Leonardo, which is the AI Image Prompt. Now, this feature allows you to upload any type of photos, for example yourself, since our topic for today is editing your own image, you could upload that specific photo into your Leonardo, and you could simply ask Leonardo to add some elements, change the style, anything like that. So let's demonstrate it. To get started, right now we are currently in Leonardo over here, so simply click on AI Image Generation over here under User Tools. Opening this will allow us to access the image generator of Leonardo, which is this page over here. Now, the feature that we will be using to allow ourselves to edit our own images is this feature called Image Prompt over here beside the Image to Image, which is basically this one. But as you can see, there will be some restrictions. So you're going to have to change the different settings that you have over here. It mentioned that user images are supported with photoreal or prompt magic version 3 so scrolling up as you can see we have prompt magic enabled over here if we disable that we will then be able to use image prompt over here uh, let's make sure that that's off this one also and there we go now we were able to use our image prompt over here you're also going to have to disable this alchemy over here it will automatically change your prompt magic to version 2 as you can see but anyway we are now able to use the image prompt feature now the next step is to have your image you're going to have to upload your image into leonardo so right now we're going to select an image in pexels over here pexels allows us to download royalty free images so let's simply search for something let's search for a uh, baby then let's edit the design of the baby and like add some elements all of those stuff so for example we have this little kid over here simply download this here we go and go back to our leonardo ai drag our photo into our image prompt over here wait for it to upload you will be able to see if it's uploaded or not as you can see successfully upload and now you will be able to see this feature or this extra settings over here which is the image way the image way as you can see here on the quick description it has a higher value will which will make the output look more like a reference image lower value adheres to more to the text so the higher the image way the closer the image produced will be closer to the image that we have over here but the lower it is the more creative Leonardo will be and the more it will be closer to your prop. So, let's try it. Let's say uh, with white and feathery wings. Simple like that. And simply click on generate. Right now, we will all only have 0.45 as the image weight. And let's generate this. And the more, like we mentioned earlier, the higher this is, the closer it will be. So like now it is on the default setting. So let's see the default output of our image prompt over here. Let's give it some time to load. And if you want, you could use other types of photo for you to try out. You can even use your own photo for yourself and add some editing to that. But as you can see, it's a bit creative. So it had the position of our uh, child over here. It's a bit similar to this one and this one and this one. So let's uh, edit it out again. Let's make our image way higher. Let's go with 0 0.6 and let's click on generate. Let's see the output for 0 0.6, which will allow our image to be more original. Now you could also change the design. So for example, we could add uh, what design could be add Leonardo Da Vinci style. But as you can see, we just got the perfect image way over here because as you can see, we had our baby over here and now we have a very similar or a very close photo to the child 
with a feather background or a feathery wing on their back as you can see which is a very good output we were able to create something very good you can see here so let's try adding this leonardo da vinci style and click on generate and let's also check out another image that we could try out so let's search for a uh, bodybuilder we call it enter and we have a bodybuilder over here let's look for a decent one that we could use maybe this person over here click on download again go back here and also as you can see this is the output it did not really have the leonardo style but anyway let's move on let's change our prompt over here click on x over here to delete this uh photo that we have and simply upload again the other photo that you have there we go you will be able to notice it as you can see so now let's think of something that we could add to the image something that we could add to this image maybe could be a heavier weight or maybe we could change the clothing uh, let's try changing the clothing formal dress formal red dress then click on generate let's see the output that we will be able to get the feature image prop basically allows you to upload any type of photo and then add on the prop any type of changes that you would like to have on the photo and the amount of changes will differ or will change depending on the image way that you have but either way uh, let's see the output there we go it took away our dumbbells over here the gym background but it got the character that we have as you can see this is our character and now it has or the person is now wearing a red dress over here as you can see we have a very good outputs over here so we could add another one formal red dress dancing or let's say wearing with high heels now let's change our dimension over here to something like uh, 9 by 16 click on generate and now we have a longer photo over here so that we could see if it will add a high heel to the person although this photo over here doesn't have a high heel but as you can notice the arms were up also the single arm and on the output over here Leonardo added two arms being lifted up but as you can see uh, it's a bit funky but we were able to get a more classy output over here there is no basis for the legs so it had a hard time for that by either way you get the idea on how it would work and you could play around with the different settings you could change the guidance scale you could add feeling you could add control at any settings there's also advanced settings over here such as fixed seed basically fixed seed will use the same basis of an image every time so as you can notice this one this generation over here is very different from this one because it used a different seed but if you got the seed for example this one copy seed and if you paste it over here it will now use the same uh, seed or the same reference for the generated output so uh, for the last one we'll compare this one and this one so that you could understand the concept of the seed as well so let's wait for it to load and there we go see as you can see it's more similar to our photo over here but as you can see has more details there is some uh heels uh, occurring over here although not very visible but the heels are there the element wherein the two arms are up is there the dress is closer to it as well and although using the same prop we were able to get the same output or similar output to this one because we used the same seat but that's basically it guys that is how you will be able to edit your photos in Leonardo by using the image prop feature. So if you enjoyed this video, please consider leaving a like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.